Well, I need some equipment, I guess. So that'll be the plan for this one. Try and get get some equipment for like the final battle. On level four, I think there's maybe like you know one level after this where the, where the boss is, but um, we'll get there when we get there. Huh? He got rid of that uh, ice block on himself. Bastard. Just drop that right there. I'm just gonna go. Whoop. Now, did that hit me or did I hit myself? They hit me, apparently. Let's put on a shield for a little bit of uh, shielding then. Doink. These guys definitely are badass. Well, this guy came in, into play. Killed him. Why is this, like, you know, meter dropping down here? Oh, it's because one of these guys, of course. I need to back up from there. Doink. There was that guy. I slowly will this guy down. You know, let's try this. We're gonna fire a fire flash at this guy. I'll drop that there. We'll go boom. Hopefully, I hurt him a little bit. I think I heard him a lot, but I'm not sure. Back off a little bit there. A little bit of blind won't hurt me, but it'll be annoying. Let's drop that there, we'll try to burn him and the uh... Boom! Got him. So the Radiant Horde dealt with. It's funny how like, you know, certain enemies are like that are really gonna be, you know, deadly to fight. <clears throat> They're not actually annoying if you're playing with like, you know, um... The other class that like is like sun based. Some paladins, but um, they're also pretty bad for this class too because they're pretty fire resistant. There's some stuff. We'll try doing this. Drop this over there. Boink. Hey, look at that! Another friend of uh, of ours. Fire one of those things in here. He mana clashed me, so that's gonna hurt. I'll drop that right there. We'll go. Boink. Boink. I cast the wrong spell there. It's slowly going on. And yeah, I realize I don't have to fight these guys, these like, you know, enemies that I'm already level 50, but they might drop, uh, drop bombs items at this point, and I really want to get myself like a better shielding ruin or, um, 
what else, other stuff I want in here? I might want to get like a better, like, you know, um, digging implement. I want my, might want to get like a better um, armor, maybe. Well, the armor's pretty good. There is some stuff I want to get better, though. Like, a better belt would probably be one. This is a nice belt, but I would like a better one. I may want a better type of amulet if I could find one, but this is also pretty good for now. Mostly I just want a better ruin. Let's do that. Let's blind that guy. Hey, I got burning shock on him. to go through the vaults basically one by one and try and find ruins. That's gonna have to happen. Alright, there's drill four. The foolish creations of the lesser gods have simply handed me your mouth in return for a few of the apostate's trinkets. Unearthed by dwarves brought from distant land by humans, offered to me by trolls. Not more aware of how they were helping. Uh, helping you. So, do not spare these humanoids your wrath. They deserve cleansing as much as the giants, elves, and other creatures from the lesser gods, creatures that still refuse, refuse your blessing. The giants are beginning to falter as the creations of the pettier gods inevitably do. As amusing as it would have been to watch them to demonstrate their inferiority by tearing at each other's throats, the orcs have brought them ruin and pushed them to desperation even sooner. They will reconsider my offer, and then... So yeah, basically, this guy, um, has offering considered by the giants. Get rid of that. That's to pull me down. I'm glad I didn't do anything. This is very repetitive to watch this. Bing bang boom, bing bang boom, bing bang boom. Yeah, reverse that time. There's the unbreakable greed. What do these things do for me? Alright, this gave me some strength, constitution, acid, and physical resistance, not back immunity, changes damage to physical. These are actually pretty nice armor uh, boots, but um, I think I prefer the extra ability to move around with those. Those look cool, though. Uh, that gives me something to look at, I guess. So let's see, this staff gives me some elemental blast wave dealing damage to it in a radius, blah blah. This also gives me some mana, spell power, spell critical chance. This is a cool staff, but I don't think it's for me. So get rid of it. Alright, let's go see what the vaults are all about, because I might be able to find a ruin or two in there, somewhere.
Alright, this looks like the uh, undead vault, where like basically they'll have like undeads in here. Yep, there's the undeads. Let's go with um An opening shot like this. Burn him alive a little bit. I haven't used Inferno yet. Let's use Inferno a little bit. Let's do that. You can't even see him with the, the fires are so thick. I fit that now, I guess. I learned the spike attachment. You know, let's just do this. We're just gonna go through this very, very quickly. Uh, that can be movement speed, but I already got, you know, chromatic cards, which I think I'll keep. So that gets critical multiplier, maximum mana, spell crit chance, all good stuff. But I need to have, like, you know, good dark resistance, and that's probably what I'm going to keep this for. You know, I wonder what type of, um, dark meditation the final boss has. If it's any good or not. Hopefully it's not good. Okay, next room. Bone Horror, Bone Horror, Necrotic Mass, Necrotic Mass, Necrotic Mass, Sanguine Horror, Lizard Vampire, and Necrotic Abomination. Alright, well, this will be fun. Fire this in here. We'll go like that. Like that. Like that. I actually have some ghouls pop out, that's gonna be fun. Go like that. Go like that. Like that. Seed your area in here. Uh, that's a cool ring, but not for me. No, that's of interest to me. Okay, this is like a fault that's like good for getting equipment, as you can see. So, happy to find this fault. I'll clear everything inside of it, and then hopefully we'll get some good loots from it. And hopefully, I won't have any like vampire lords or anything dangerous pop in. Okay, fire that. Fire this off. Fire that off. Fire that off. Freeze him so he can't do anything behind me. Doink. 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 And doink. Didn't step in front of it this time, that's unfortunate, but whatever. You know, let's try this. We're gonna do this. Back off. See that does any damage to him, I wonder. A bone horror just popped out. Kill him. Sanguine horror, we'll kill it. Bone horror, nothing to it. The inferno will last for quite a while. Alright, let's see here. I got this light thing right here. This gives me max and vim, and it's that's more of like a reaver stat type of staff or corruptor. There's a, another corpse light lantern. That gives some darkness resistance. So that gives me 11 darkness resistance, it lets me put down Rex, it lets me see um, 4 away. It's better than the current one I'm wearing, so let's put this one on.
I'm keeping that for a Doctor's Resistance too. You know, I might just do this. We'll take this off. Put this on. This is a cool ring to have. I'm just going to see what my character looks like right now. I almost have max darkness reasons. Alright, this is actually a pretty good setup then. Um, I might go for this type of, you know, setup I have right now. So... That might handle my darkness resistance problems against, like, the boss. Drop that in there. Boink. Let's do that. Oh, that guy resurrected because, you know, it's a skeleton. I still hit stuff, so there's apparently stuff still in there. Just a little bit of stuff to kill. Alright, there's Thunderfall. So that's a mace that basically, tremendous power is concentrated in the head mace, just dropping, you can knock down nearby walls. So, I, apparently I bet that's something that has like, you know, um, not back. The, the, like, you know, you should be my weapon type of idea. Or like, mighty blow. Uh, I should keep this in view for now. We'll get rid of all this stuff. You get a lot of loot from this, from this like, vault, so... It's a good thing to find this vault, because it lets me easily get, like, my character equipped. Okay, this is... Cooldown 25, it has... 1589% uh, mana restoration. It skills with what? Nothing? Nothing. I'm gonna say it's a little bit better than this one. Just a little bit. So put that on stead. Okay, let's go. What am I missing here? Well, I don't have it. Oh, there it is. I was fixing the corpse light. That makes sense. Okay, let's go in here. We'll go fire flash again. Drop off one of these. And that's gonna hurt like hell because I just uh, didn't anticipate where it's moving. So, this is gonna hurt. Or not, I got out of the way in time. I'm, I'm good with that. Let's do that. I see shadows, so there might be a lick somewhere around. Um, none of that really interests me at all. Kill that shadow before it does anything. Shadows can be dangerous, because they can alert other monsters to my presence, I think. Specifically, I think they can alert the caster to my presence. You know, I should play Doom sometime. I'll have to do that in the future sometime. Alright, you know what, we forgot to do this again, so let's just... 
fire that in here. Do that to him. Do that to him. Do that to him. What's the skills an assassin? Most skeletons announce their presence by a course of rattling bones. This one's been charred black and has enough cartilage between its joints to muffle its approach. The first you'll see it will be a flasher's blade. So that's a new monster I've never seen before. That's what it looks like. Has some, you know. Oh, it's a shadow mage or shadow, shadow blade. Cool. That's a cool one. I approve of that monster. Fight off a little bit in that direction. Okay, I'm going to do what here? We want to actually move away from these guys a little bit, so... Let's go over here. Drop that there. The nice thing about this is that it actually helps, like, you know, the Femi from, like, stuff getting too close. Wow, that guy's pretty tough. And of course, they can d dance up to me like this, so, gotta watch out for that, too. That's it for him. Up a little bit. A budding gale rune. Not really what I'm after, but okay. There's another mana search rune. Not as powerful. Slowly but surely, I will loot this entire dungeon. Of anything useful to fight in the final fight. Because I really do want to win the game with this character, because, you know, getting to the end and dying horribly because I couldn't, like, you know, specifically win is not, you know, a fun way of uh, playing the game. Drop that off. Drop that off. I don't like you hitting me, so stop that. Kill those guys if possible. Kill him if possible. I don't mind Rex, but uh, it makes these guys a little bit harder to kill. Okay, we're just gonna loot the rest of this dungeon, so we'll go in here. Here's the Vampire Lords, they're level 80, they'll be a nuisance to fight. Hopefully they don't like, do anything really terrible. There's the Lich. Let's get this party underway. I'll fire Blast 1. I'm not sure I want to get hit by that. Um... We'll go over here. Flame shock. Okay, I'm not sure what they did, but okay. okay this thing has a pretty bl big blast radius, so just want to get close enough to bury the entire area and fire again. Can do that too with this. I mean, if they want to send me all the way over here, I'm fine with, like, you know, that. I'm not fine with this. Uh, water stuff, get this off. Kill those guys. I see him down there, so let's try dropping this over here. 
kill him. I kill someone else apparently. That'll work. Boink. Fire blast this off. Alright, I think I hit something else in there, so. Anything that wasn't in there was uh, killed, obviously. Alright, there's a shielding rune of skills of cunning. That's a decent one. I finally found a decent shielding rune of all things. That will help out. That gives me a little bit more darkness resistance if I want. There's another one of Corpse Light. Alright, you're gonna replace the crappier shielding rune I have right here. Yes! Look at all my look at all this. Boom! 1000 shielding damage. That'll help a lot. Alright, um, I would like to use this too, but I can't use regeneration on this type of character. I'm keeping this until, like, you know, the boss. I'm keeping this until we get there. Is the idea. I'm gonna keep this around because. It's a nice belt. And personally, what am I taking this off to put on this? And you will do what? You give me spell crit chance, light radius, seem visible, information radius. Anything that's better, I will put on. That is the idea. Okay, now it's down to 50% darkness resistance. That's kind of uh, scary, but it's still pretty good. I'll keep this around, but. If I find more dark resistance on something else to basically boost it up a little bit more, I'll probably get rid of it. Alright, I have to go... I know it's in our vault in here somewhere, so... That's the way out. There it is. I knew there was a vault somewhere. Is this the exact same type of vault? That'd be awesome if it is. Oh, that's awesome. More more loot. We're gonna go looting again. Fire that there. Put that there. Okay, they're all dead. Put that there. I'm gonna stand here. Nimbus of Enlightenment. By all accounts, just an ordinary cooking pot with an array of antennae haphazardly soldered onto it. An attached manual contains nothing but 50 pages of deranged gibberish, nonsensical diagrams, and lines upon lines of numbers with no apparent pattern to reason them. Putting this on your head may not be the best idea. Okay, so this reduces my mental save, gives me confusion penalty, but I get hate, psi, maximum psi, mind power, mental crit chance, and information radius. They're out to get you. This is not real, this is not real, this is not real. Okay, um, interesting. 
That that's interesting. Kayaka's healing mod, light radius. This gives uh, spell power, spell crit chance, constitution. I want my point on, on for the heal chance or heal mod. Whoops. Oh, I got a little bit of fuel on now. That's nice. Okay, let's drop this bad boy right there. We'll go like this. Let's make sure I can hit myself in here, right? Yep, I can hit myself if I'm not careful. You know, that might be a fun way of killing everything inside. That's just an acid wave ruin. So that's a great sword. A brutal weapon of countless blades. Okay, let's power up a little bit. Or not power up, let's just sell off my stuff a little bit. So this is turning into the magical episode of Loot Loot Loot. That's literally what's gonna be. Loot Loot Loot. I'm not opposed to this. I was complaining about loot, wasn't I? There is a reason for it. Let's fire that in here. Put this on. And you know what? This is probably gonna hurt like crazy, but. Yes. Damage. We got ourselves. Well, nothing really there. You know what I really should be doing, by the way? I should be going like this. Melt all the items, get some stuff for it. We'll drop that right there, we'll put this on, we'll go... Bing. Bang. Boom. That's a medical injector. Rod of Sirion, Staff, Tier 5. This is a Paradox weapon. That's not good to me, but uh, a plain looking ceremonial rod. It has connections with time that even Chromasters do not yet understand. And there's a medical injector of Dexterity that goes 157% um, improvement for... How good is that compared to one of mine? I may replace that one. I think I'll replace that one. I'm probably gonna replace that one. So now I got, you know, medical injector, medical injector. Very powerful, very weak. I wouldn't mind finding more medical injectors. They're always fun to find. Let's fire this in here. He's not gonna avoid my wrath, whatever. I can uh, deal with that. Well, I can't place the thing now, so that sucks. Freeze that there, I guess. Let's blind these guys a little bit. Let's put all this on, let's do that. I'm gonna thrill them a little bit, because why not? Hurt you a little bit. 
Doink. A hippie ruin. One of the best runes for, uh, you know, undead if they don't have uh, access to medical infusions. <sighs> Let's see here. APR, go! Let's drop that right there. Drop that in here. I forgot to do something important, didn't I? Imagine if I critical that, what would happen? How much damage would I deal for, to myself? Drop that there. Fire that in. And you know, I get to use Aegis for this. Let's see what happens if I use Aegis for this, the thousand one. Oh, look at all that damage potential it can soak up. Good little bit of damage to deal. There's a phase to a ruin. Now, if I found, if I, if I want to note something, if I find a good phase to a ruin, it might be useful to use these. Apparently, phase to ruins, if you use them, they can like you know reduce like you know damage done to you by quite a bit, since they give you like resistance by like you know increase of like whatever. I'm not sure I'll be using it, but it's not a bad idea perhaps if it looks decent. APR go! Now here's something to question by the way. I'm just gonna put this on acid. I'm keeping this because it gives me multiplier, it gives me spell, cri spell critical chance and all that. This gives me healing mod. Do I want healing mod or do I want damage to basically kill the final guy. I think healing mod might be better for survivability. I'm not sure. I can always change it in, in fight, but... But fair I don't want to be doing something like that in fight. Drop a line there. Well, there's a vile staff of fate that changes my damage to a whole lot of crap. That won't exactly help against the boss who has like all these like you know resi resi resistance to everything and anything basically fired at him. That'd be a nice um you know thing to put on. The darkness resistance would help. But I think I prefer this. In the end game, the extra move speed, the extra spell power, the extra white hoof talents, mastery, and all your stuff. Probably better. Use the APR again. Alright, we're back here. Uh, let's put on this. Drop that right there. Say, hello, how you doing? And we'll just back off. Drop that again. 
And the resurrected son of those guys, those bastards. Let's do that a little bit. I'll fire off one of those. Fire off another fire flash. Well, this'll hurt. Um, well, I suppose it won't hurt me, but it'll hurt. Hey, I found Spill Hunt Remnants. Not that I'm going to use them, but I found them. So there's Champion's Will. This impressive looking sword features a golden grave graveyard of the sun and its hilt, action the blade are a series of runes claiming that only one who has mastered both their body and mind will make Willis sword effectively. So that's basically a Sun Paladin's weapon. There's another uh, staff. This one gives me resistance to darkness. Alright, that's a clear winner. That is the staff I'll be using in the final fight because that's just gonna help the most. I now no longer need you. Or you. Get review. I'll keep this around if I find something better, but. So here's how my character's resistances look to darkness. He's now got almost like, you know, close to 70% dark resistance. He's got some light resistance apparently from something. That's cool. Maybe it's from that uh, trinket, or that staff I just put on. That'd be nice. So this staff here basically gives me um, resistance to darkness, which is awesome. It also applies to stacking poison dealing damage, and it gives me lots of saves. Gives you spell crit chance, defense after teleport, resist after teleport. All effects duration of reduction after a teleport. This is an awesome staff to use, I think, for the end game. I still like to find better infusion stuff, but that's a good find. Alright, so we've reached the end of, like, you know, Macfield's prison. Here's the fifth journal. This is a time of celebration, the Amos of Brasa gift. I know I require the cooperation of people, a handful of blessed guards, including in Poetic Army, some of the four her heretics, will suffice to keep the generates from disturbing your return. It will only be mere days until you are whole again. You are an artist, and this world shall be your canvas. The generates will weep first at your beauty when they behold you, and then for the fate of the world, and when they realize their sins and the fate they deserve. I will not beg you for redemption or forgiveness. My species has already proven itself to be treacherous and prideful mistake. I'll, all I beg for is to live long enough for you to see your matches piece. Alright, well, that's done. Let's just, you know, get up to uh, the guy here. Oh, you had to pop up right there, apparently. That is painful as hell. Uh, get rid of his mental effects. Put that on. I need to blast this guy now. Drop that there. Get rid of that. I could go up to the previous level, but I want to try and kill this guy here, so... Zap. Zap. That's not something fun to have on me. Nightmare. Unfortunately, I can't get rid of it, if anything. Ah, crap. You put inner demons on me. Um, if I don't wake up, I'm going to be in trouble. Like, I'm going to be in trouble. This may be my first death. Oh good, I woke up. Um, 
The only bad thing is that I got a shadow right there and I got a guy in front of me. Let's do that right here. I wish there was some way of getting rid of this. Like by killing like the nightmare, but that's the thing about nightmare horse. If they put that on you, it's gonna probably kill you, unfortunately. Uh that's on cooldown. Let's um Wow, what did they do to hit me that hard? And yeah, I'm done. Well, there's my first death. Honest character. Killed by a nightmare or by inner demons. That's one of the bad things about them. I kind of wish that the medical injectors would work with, like, you know, that type of thing. But that's, I guess, something to watch out for. So, you probably want to have a button gill if you're, if, if, if you're going to go, like, you know, end of this, like, you know, run. I probably should have taken one of them, but whatever. Okay, we're just gonna jump back in. Now, unfortunately, these guys are gonna stick around, I guess, until they disappear. Let's put this on and this on. I'm going to flame that. And what we're going to do here, we're just going to back up. I'm basically going to try and wait for these guys to go away. That's the plan here. Oh, I need to get rid of that now. Actually, you know what I really should be doing? Because this guy is like, you know, a caster type, this nightmare horror. I'll put that on. That'll help. Oh, right, they got cleansing flames too. Um. Good, he's gone. Yes, yeah, so I can put this on to get my, you know. <clears throat> My saves up to like, you know, uh, ridiculous levels. Like just my saves. That will help prevent any more, you know, infractions from this guy more or less. Hopefully. Hopefully, being the op, op of word. Uh, I would like to say it was working, but it's not, is it? Let's try this again. We'll go back up here. If that's not going to work, I'll just go... Like this once. This is going to hurt me a lot more than it, but... Hopefully it'll do some... Damn it! He put, did this again. So, I got inner demons happening again soon. Probably. Yep, there they are, inner demons. Well, I got rid of all that, but now I got an inner demon here to worry about. At least it won't kill me instantly this time. So you have to wait for this guy to sort of go away again. Oh, I killed it. Cool. Well, that makes it easier. Maybe it does help. I don't know. Okay, oh, I can't shrug off the effects. So it's just not all the time that he's going to kill me. It's just going to hurt me a lot. Um, does that hurt? Finally, I killed the stupid thing, I think. It took so long to kill that one little guy. I 
Not sure if I killed that guy. Let's try doing that. God damn it, hit the wrong thing. Okay, there he is, so... Ow. Let's do that, and good, we got rid of his shadow. These guys are popping out to kill me. Now it's this guy. Uh oh. Um. There's another one of these, like, you know, whores around. And I'm blind from it, so that's gonna be a nuisance. No hope. Well, we know what that did. That. Put that down, that might help here. Jeez, just entering this is difficult. Get rid of that. Gonna resist the freeze here for a little bit. So there's Journal 6. And that gives, of course, you know, everything here. And about Demon Rage Maze coming after him. Oh, there's a Hail's Horror. This on now, I guess. All right, this is where I want to be to basically end this episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed watching. It's been a long one, but for now, take care.